My name is Dr. Michael Wallace. I'm a gastrointestinal specialist at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. We've been very actively involved in developing new methods to improve the care of patients with esophageal cancer. Recently, we published a study that showed that a less invasive procedure was equally effective as the more invasive surgical options for removal of early stage esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer is a relatively uncommon cancer, but it's rising quickly in the United States, and in fact is the most rapidly rising cancer in the developed world. Esophageal cancer, particularly the form that, in, that affects the lower esophagus, is a condition that develops particularly in people with chronic acid reflux disease. In those individuals, we now have the ability to screen for the cancer by an endoscopy, and that allows us to detect earlier cancers, those that develop before symptoms develop. The symptoms that may develop include difficulty swallowing or unexpected weight loss. When we do an exam and we detect an early cancer or precancerous changes in the esophagus. Traditionally, the only option for treatment was surgical removal of the esophagus or very intensive monitoring. Now a new option is available called endoscopic mucosal resection. In this procedure, we can remove the tumor and precancerous changes through an endoscope without removal of the esophagus, a so-called organ sparing treatment. In this study, we evaluated the long-term outcomes of the endoscopic procedure versus the traditional surgical procedure. We did this using a large national database available across the United States that monitors the effectiveness of cancer treatments. We evaluated more than 1,600 individuals with early stage cancer of the esophagus. And we found that those that got the endoscopic treatment had equally good outcomes to those that got the surgical treatment. Also, we found that the endoscopic treatment is increasingly being used, whereas early on in the study, more than 10 years ago, only one in 30 patients got the endoscopic treatment. Now nearly one in three are treated with the endoscopic treatment, and that number is continuing to increase. Overall, the main value of this study is that it reassures patients and doctors that the less invasive endoscopic treatment appears to provide, provide similar outcomes uh, compared to the more involved and slightly more risky surgical treatment. For patients, I think this gives a new option for less invasive organ sparing treatment. Thank you.